this way eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Listen to me, Sinclair. I could untie your hands. It could probably be the one chance you'll ever get to do things your way. thoroughly yesterday. Looks like the German authorities have agreed to cooperate. Peter? Peter? Oh, yes, sir. Sorry. Well, the first step will simply be to cull a little more information. Now, Nicky, because of your command of the language, you'll go to Berlin, review the files, case histories, list of suspects, that sort of thing. There is no sugar, Bennett. You were sweet enough, sir. <laughs> Pete, do you think these are locals? No, look, I don't. I think actually we're dealing with experienced professionals. They're using Western methods and know-how to make a complete mockery of the East German bank security systems. Yes, last month there were more bank robberies in East Berlin than in the previous 40 years before unification. Now, the West Germans are doing everything they can to help. But until the two countries are completely integrated and there's a unified police force, I'm afraid the banking systems are going to be very vulnerable. I mean, they're losing millions and millions of marks. Well... When do you want me to leave? As soon as possible. I'll go with you to the airport. We can talk. Oh, we'll reconvene on Thursday, then. Bonus! So I got a few more days off. Don't stray too far from home. Suzanne knows where to get a hold of me, day or night. I do? Yeah, just use the last number I gave you. She hasn't thrown you out yet? Would you? Uh-huh. <laughs> The car is waiting outside, Miss Blue. Thank you. Goodbye, gentlemen. Au revoir. Bonne chance. Merci. Rocks? Yes. Thank you very much. 
Not happy with the new assignment? No, 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 it's not that. Oh, more serious than that. Well, when we first set up the team, it seemed very clear. Well, we knew exactly what we were after and why. Well, come on, Peter, spit it out. Well, I've been having these, um, these recurring nightmares. I mean, when I first started to work for you, I had barely ever even carried a gun and considered using one a sign of, of failure. Oh, for God's sake, I mean, it's a different job, different responsibilities, different priorities. Yeah, but it's playing havoc with my conscience. Alex, the line between us and them, good and bad, wrong and right, it seems to me getting progressively more blurred. You know, we really do have to reevaluate our methods and exactly where we draw the line. You know, there's no room for doubt in our business. We don't hang tough. It could cost us our lives. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Sir, all the explosives used to blow the vaults was C4. It came from Detroit, Michigan. Now, why are these people going halfway around the world looking for explosives when they could easily find them in a dozen places in Europe? It must have something to do with the money. Millions of dirty Deutschmarks that need to be laundered. Well, I'll find out some of my banker friends in Detroit, see who's dealing in marks. I heard about this real wacko who's got a little business along the border. What kind of business? He's a supplier to freelancers. Arms, ammo, explosives, that kind of stuff. Now, I hear he's still in business. I'll just uh, tell him I've got some stuff to unload. Sir, Luke may actually need some C4 for cover. How much? 400 pounds it do. Oh, enough to remodel downtown. Well, we can't look like small timers, Chief, if you want to get the right people. Consider it done. One more thing, sir. I got a good look at state police files in Berlin. Before the wall came down, they gave sanctuary to some pretty notorious IRA leaders. Any connections? Well, it's possible. They could be laundering the money through the purchase of arms and explosives, which are then in turn used for international terrorism. That could include the IRA. Never-ending vicious circle. When do you land? Metropolitan Airport in uh, 47 minutes, sir. Oh, I'll cancel all my appointments. Stay in touch. Hey, buddy. How would you like us to play this one? Bait the hook. See who bites. Whoa! Hey, nice driver there, buddy. Hey, Pascal. Hey, DeMarco. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. Too loud, huh? Hey, so you're Pascal DeMarco? You call for a tow? Yeah, yeah, come on. Ah, uh, my damn alternator shot. By the way, Ramon says to say hi to ya. Brenner. <laughs> Luke, right? How you doing, brother? Recon specialist. Last big gig on the continent. <laughs> Heard lots about you too, man. Ramon told me to say hi to you too. Well, let's hook it up and we'll talk. So what the hell do you want besides a tow? <laughs> I guess you're not so stupid. Okay, I got some ordnance to get rid of. What do you got? C4s, about 400 pounds of them. That's a lot of tree stumps. Where is it? Miami. Why, you know someone who might be interested? For the right percentage. 20%. 
I'd like 30 better. Make it 25 and you got a deal, partner. Get in the truck. <laughs> Can't you turn down that frightful noise? Sorry, dude. It's part of the security system. Listen, pick me up at Pontiac and 4th and 20. What's up? Leave your car here. I'll talk to my contact. My name's Chris. If he's interested, he'll call you. Okay, our man's name is Crisp. He operates a body shop just over here on 3rd called the Shamrock. Now I'm supposed to wait at my hotel for his phone call tonight. Good. Then that's what I suggest you do. What the hell are you doing? I'm gonna prowl around your Shamrock. Just a few hours, see who comes and goes. No company tonight, all right? But I let you down. Come on, get out. Be careful, man. Ciao. Let him down. Where the hell are you? Not who you're looking for, I can guarantee you that. How do you know who I'm looking for? Let's just say my sources are better than yours. Yes, so your powers of persuasion. I had to get your attention. You've got it. Peter Sinclair, former whiz kid at Scotland Yard, recently employed by a certain tycoon with a penchant for justice, initials double A. Currently on assignment, tracking some East German bank robbers. Very clever. You've crossed over the line this time, Sinclair. I want you out of this. Because you say so. We are after the same target, and I take precedence. We've been tracking the men you're after, and some higher targets for eight years. Now we have the opportunity to get the whole shooting match. We will not miss it. Is that clear? Who is we? What is your organization? It makes no difference. 
This is the only warning you will receive. You have 12 hours to get you and your people out of here. Is that clear? Where are you? Are you all right? I'm all right. Where's Luke? He left. He had to meet Crisp. Dan. What's the problem? Hello? Anybody here? Can I help you? Yeah, they, uh... Told me to come by this morning for an estimate. The name's Brenner, Luke Brenner. Oh, Mr. Brenner. Right. Your car's over here. I'm a little confused, Mr. Brenner. This is a rented car. Yeah, well, I'm from out of town. Right. My army, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's right. And you're here on business? Yeah, I'm in custodial supplies. You don't say. Well, it just so happens that I'm in the market for some custodial supplies. Well, I guess it sounds like you and I could be doing a business deal. Well, I'm a very particular man, Mr. Brenner. I like to keep my place clean. So I'd be wanting only the best, the very best custodial supplies. Well, then I guess you're in luck, Mr. Crisp. Because that's all I handle. Excuse my cynicism, Mr. Brenner, but uh, I'd be wanting to see some of these custodial supplies before I buy them. Yeah, well, that could be arranged. Uh, what do you say, three days? How's my car doing? Oh, it's all ready for you. The leprechauns did it last night. <laughs> oh, my God! What happened to you? <laughs> I'm all right. Can I do anything? Yeah, it's all right. It's not as bad as it looks. Peter? JJ. Let me know the minute Luke gets in. Got you, Peter. Good afternoon, Walters. Is he in? Peter, you old son of a gun. We've missed you. Where the hell have you been? Clocking up my air miles. How are you? Oh, <laughs> well. Very well. Claire was down a few weeks ago. You should ring her, you old sod. Robert, I did not call for a lecture. <laughs> All right, Peter. What can I do for you? Robert, I need some information. What do you mean, we're leaving? Just what I said. I just finished putting my butt on the line in a very big way, partner. I think I deserve to know why we're pulling up stakes and turning tail. Because the odds are considerably greater than I thought they were. Ah, uh, says you. Yes, says me. Well, whoop de do. Sit down and buckle up.
Where are we going? Back to Paris. A brief stopover in London. I had to persuade the Foreign Secretary personally. The man with whom you locked horns is Colonel Nathan. He's the head of a prolonged investigation into the operations and membership of the IRA. Ongoing? Very. The latest reports indicate he's on the verge of cracking several of the critical cells wide open. And what about Adrian Crisp? He's just one of the operatives they're after. But more importantly, Crisp's boss, O'Brien, the overall mastermind, is due to arrive in Detroit for a meeting soon. Well, I would explain why they're guarding their ground so jealously. Mm, exactly. And you ought to respect that. I know you, Peter. Don't be tempted. I won't. Thanks for your help, Robert. <laughs> Actually, it feels rather good to flex the old muscles once in a while. Perhaps because you're so very good at it. One last thing. The information I've given you is strictly cabinet level. If it took that out, the heads at four would roll right down to Buckingham Palace. Yeah, I understand. Bye. Come for a weekend. Time we caught up. I'll call. Despite my orders, you're not going back to this case? Absolutely not. Did you see this? Yes, sir, I read it. Crisp was involved with Kruger. That bastard who kidnapped my wife. Well, you know what that means to me, Peter. Damn it, all I'm asking is for you to help get me some justice. Alex, this is a lot bigger than you, me, and Crisp. There's so much more to this whole operation than your justice. Yeah, but what's laughingly called the system of justice is so damn overcrowded that men like Crisp can bargain their way to freedom. You're not listening. This goes so much further. Every major anti-terrorist organization is cooperating. There are times when the authorities simply have to have precedence. Yes, and we always end up waiting just a little too long. The world can exist without justice, or it won't be very pretty, but we'll go on. We've proved that already. But when we let chaos in, when we lose sight of what we know in our heart of hearts is right, then we're really lost. We might as well call it quits, because nothing else matters. This team is too small. We cannot compete, we can only interfere. You know, you really can't set yourself up as judge, jury, and bloody executioner. Kruger did, for me and my wife. He had a need and a desire to strike, and that's exactly what he did. And that's what you want to do, too? Yes. Absolutely. I'm sorry. I won't help you do it. Peter's stonewalling me on this one. Damn him. I'm convinced this operation can continue. Intact, exactly as planned. Am I right? What about the rest of the team? Oh, they're fine. I mean, I spoke to Luke. He's gung-ho. He's, he's all right. They'll pull it off. I told the chief he could handle it. Without consulting me? How dare you? Oh, come on, Nikki. Chill out. Look, everything's cool. We got Chris right where we want him. He's taking the bait. All we gotta do is reel him in. Don't be so naive, Luke. Peter must have pulled out for a very good reason. Well, you can back me up. We don't need Peter. Yes, we do. 
Well, it's too late anyway. I gotta be in Miami to pick up the C4 tonight, then I gotta be in Detroit on time for my meeting. Just give me time to talk to him. Nikki, these guys don't mess around. If I don't show up, I'm as good as dead. Oh, what, so you're chickening out too? No, damn it. You don't need me, Miami. I'll meet you in Detroit. I'll never budge him. At least I have to try. Hi, Suzanne. What's wrong, Nikki? We need Peter. I have to see his personal file. Nikki. This situation between Peter and your father is ridiculous. They're a pair of stubborn mules. But you know, Nikki, I don't have clearance to access any of the team's personal files. Oh, damn it. But I did stumble on the password. <sighs> Great. I thought Armistice Day was last week. It was. I'm collecting for the waifs and strays. Well, come in. I wanted to call, but... Something wrong? No. I was just thinking how well you fit in. Like you've never left. I never did in my head. <laughs> and that's why this is only the second time I've heard from you this year? Busy. Oh. I'd hope you'd say something new. Every day our old life together seems more and more like a bad dream. Maybe you just woke up before I did. I don't mind you coming here for sympathy on occasion, Peter. But don't tell me how much you've changed. Perhaps not completely. Six years taught me one thing. You're a fire horse when the bell rings. But nobody's looking for me, Claire. And even if they were, I wouldn't go. Hello? Minutes. Sounds like a fire bell to me. <laughs> Dinner's ready. That's quite a stir, buddy. Yeah, yeah, it's just for show, JJ. Now, can we get clearance out of here tonight? Well, back to the Motor City? You got it. Mrs. Sinclair? Miss Beaumont? Come in. Thank you. 
Peter! Ring a ding ding! You know, Luke, I was uh, kind of wondering. I lost my scorecard, man. Who are the players in this one? It's just me and the little lady. Is this permanent? Even money. Either way. All right, let's do it. Let's go. She seems very nice. You've become quite a detective, Nikki. Mm -hmm. This is the last place I expected to see you. This is the last place I tried. Peter, you can't come here and hide. Whatever's bothering you, you have to deal with it. I'm not hiding. What do you call it? You've left us high and dry. Peter, since the beginning, we've been a team. You can't just drop out in the middle of a mission. It was the only way I could protect you both. By quitting? Nikki, Alexandra is trying to force us into a situation that I know is both wrong and very, very dangerous. We have absolutely no control over what's going down in Detroit. Quitting was the only way I could stop the mission. You stopped nothing. Alexander asked us to go on without you. What? Luke is on his way to get the explosives. I'm meeting him in Detroit. I can't believe that Alexander's done this. Nikki, don't do it. And whatever you do, you've got to stop Luke. If you feel so strongly about it, you stop him. I can't. Don't you understand? By doing this, Alexander has completely taken away my authority. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Only you can stop yourselves. You're not coming with me. I can't, Mickey. I'm sorry. She's very pretty. Yeah, she is. What's the matter, Chris? Don't you trust me? What makes you think I ever did? Well, we got a deal. We also had an agreement, Mr. Brenner. You were to be here on time with some samples. Yeah, that's right. No, that is not right. You're late and I don't like that. Now, a man like you should understand my position. People are only late for a reason. Okay, man, but I'm here, ain't I? But you are, Mr. Brenner. And here you'll stay until we find out who you really are and what you really want. Get me the foreign office. to me, Claire. I know he's there. It's Robert. Yes, Robert. What the hell are you playing at? The Foreign Office is all over me. You promised me that you and your people were out of it. We are. Then why is Brenner inside with Crisp? Oh, the bloody idiot. Peter, his cover is blown. He's as good as Oh, 
fool is none of our concern unless he gets in the way. I'm sure he's working alone. Maintain tight surveillance, Black 3. Yes, sir. Turn off the light, man. You're blinding me. Won't last long, Mr. Brunner. Ah, crisp. So what the hell's going on? My question exactly. We checked up on you. So what? I got nothing to hide. You are a man with a shady past. And a shadier present. Yeah, and what the hell does that mean? Nobody knows you. You are either the world's most secretive freelancer or a phony. Either way, you scare me, Mr. Brenner. Look, Chris. Black three to Indian Chief. This is Indian Chief, go ahead. Sir, it looks like that's a prize package. Could be DOA. We heard. Berlin's on the line, sir. Relator, this is Indian Chief. Excellent. Operation Shamrock is time to go at 0100. Alert all units. Gentlemen. I've just received word that O'Brien will be arriving here at 23.30. We will simultaneously strike in these seven locations. Now, each of these strikes is contingent on the success of our operation here. We have a unique opportunity to crack the central organization of the IRA. The key is O'Brien. Sergeant? We're ready. Now remember, we're dealing with fanatics who would give their lives rather than be caught. However, they are most valuable to us if they're taken alive. If there are no questions, make yourselves comfortable. It will be a long night. When did you last hear from him, JJ? This morning, sir. He uh, checked in just before his meeting with Chris. What about you, Nikki? Oh, I haven't spoken to him since last night. When I arrived, he was gone. Arrived? From where? Sir, I thought I was best employed trying to convince Peter to return to the assignment. At the expense of your partner? But he told me to back off. Forget what Peter told you. I only did what I thought was best to ensure the success of the mission. It appears you haven't ensured anything, Miss Beaumont. I should point out that neither did you. Damn it, that's not the issue. We are all guilty. The question is, how are we going to get ourselves out of this? I'm afraid I have no idea, monsieur. That's terrific. We don't seem to have the answers to anything. We don't even know where the hell Luke is. No, but it's possible since he's undercover, he can't check in. can I do? It's been 10 hours and not a word. Well, suppose he's all right, or suppose he's just... Suppose he's not. We've waited. We've given him a chance. Now I must do something. Look, Nikki, the best thing you can do is just stay right here. JJ, no. And I'm going with you. OK. Indian chief here. All units have amber. Operation Shamrock condition. Amber, over. Thank you. 
JJ. I'm approaching the compound. Nikki, get the hell out of here. But look, is Nikki, it here somewhere? We don't belong here. Now, only one of us can do this, and it's not going to be you. Now go. Please. Time. Good to see you. Huh? All units, this is Indian Chief. We are red. Repeat, condition red. off the critical list. I know. I spoke to the hospital this morning. Nathan's mission apparently was a complete success. I know. How are you? Fine. And Claire? Yeah, she's fine too, thank you. Suzanne and uh, Nikki are taking off to Kitzbühel skiing. You think the Austrians are ready for them? I don't think there are two men in the world ready for that pair. Present company included. Gotta leave that one alone. What went wrong this time? I think we lost our center, sir. What it's all about. There's no point of balance between us, any of us. That sounds fair. Well, shall we cut to the chase? Are you still in? I can't accept anything less than what we were, what we set out to be before this whole bloody mess began. Of course. We have to have that center. Well, you are that center. You always have been. You know that. Peter, I, I made a big mistake. I don't usually let my emotions rule my head. I accept that. See you at 9 o'clock, Monday. The perennial battle between 
right and wrong, good and evil, can only be waged as long as man struggles with his conscience, stands by his principles, and never loses sight of his priorities. 